I have tripled expectations on the top ten home front. That is what I'm saying, Adam Petty. What a badass he is. And there are some weird ass sounds coming from the outside world that I'm going to investigate. I don't see shit. Amazing. Well, in that case, let's just qualify. Hopefully we start ahead of uh, Ken Schrader so we don't have to deal with his bullshit throughout the race. So, we got one lap of qualifying. Probably should have looked at how, how, how slow I have to go. I'm just going to assume 45 and hope for the best, so. Look at the size of that American flag, goodness gracious. Thing's massive. How much do you have to slow down in the Sprint Cup cars? Because this is feeling like 2015 package levels of freaking not even trying throughout the corners. Alright, one qualifying lap to go. Let's hope for the best in the season closer for Adam Petty in the Truck Series. Except he's going to run the Truck Series next year, so what am I talking about? Due to the fact that he had to skip one race. Because I was being stupid. And I thought I needed to do good in the standings. But no, I only needed 10 top 10 finishes. Which I would have been able to get had I not skipped that race. But yeah. Uh, we, got, we got ourselves a pretty speedy qualifying lap going on right now. Let's see if it's anything... Let's see if it is worth a single All shit. Right, 38 seconds feels like a long ass time though. I'm gonna say. Hmm. Where are you? Oh my goodness, Ken Schrader is in 13th. And I was about to say I'm gonna qualify in the top 10 easily, but... Oh. Uh, I'm qualifying the last car in the top 10. Well, it's better than last weekend. Maybe I'll be able to make up a couple of spots before going into pit road. Wouldn't that be some crazy shit? In any case, it is time for the season finale. I don't know what part this... Oh my goodness gracious! I do not know what just happened and I'm scared. That has never happened and I'm terrified to think of what it could possibly mean. Now we're racing multiple lanes like this is freaking Talladega. I'm holding my line, I'm trying. They're the ones making it four wide. Must I remind you? I'm gonna have to Hold sail it into this corner. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, shit! I almost made it through that like a beautiful driver. And now big wreck in the back. No shit. Well, hopefully I'm the only one that pits. And everyone else waits until later. Because this means I'm stuck in the middle of everything. Second caution of the game. No, third caution of the game. After what? 50 parts? I'm pretty sure. I have only, I've only rendered a couple of parts from the previous session. And we're in 22nd. Magnificent. It's even better. This is better than I could possibly imagine. Why am I going so slow? Car high, car low. Car high, car low, cars all over the goddamn place. We're gonna get a terrible ass finish because our pit. Well, maybe, just maybe, this means that a couple of people in front of us did not pit. Maybe, just maybe, that's what this means. And we will end up getting a good finish. Plus, we're riding along here with Lance Nordic, who I can't stop wrecking. Can't stop and I won't stop wrecking. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of slow trucks ahead of us. So I'm thinking we might have just possibly escaped some dire straits. Oh my god, I should get out of the people's way with, if they're going to pit. I should really keep out of their way. The potential for pit stops is massive. So we're probably just going to want to be careful here. Ken Schrader is right behind me. Ken Schrader. Oh, this is the battle for 15th in the standings. Oh, goodness gracious, this is the battle for 15th. Why is Brendan Gone going so slow? Oh my goodness, I could win. Just get out of my fucking way, dude. Is that the leader? Or is the leader off to the races? It looks like the leader's off to the races. I think I see a couple of guys sailing it in through turn four right now, way off in the distance. 
way off on the other side of the fucking planet here. Yeah, Lance Nordic. That's what you fucking get for being a douchebag over the course of this season. Yeah, second place is all the way over there, so unless they're gonna pit. Looks like we're gonna be finishing somewhere around this area. That's good, because we are ahead of Ken Schrader. And that's good. Ugh. Here comes Brendan Gunn. I'm gonna let him go because he's cool. Let him go. Let him go. I'm not gonna block you no more. Let him go. Let him go. I was singing The Sellout by Macy Gray. You know, the lady that did I Try way back in 2000? Yeah, I bet you had no idea she had a career beyond that song. She has some very good music. Like, it is pretty soulful, and some of her actual, like, pop stuff is still pretty good. Like, she's kind of the, uh, she's kind of like Adele. Like, she is very popish at times, but she's got a good voice, and it's well, well written. Unless you're listening to Hello. Then it's just freaking, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but... Yeah. Anyway. I was talking about Macy Gray. So Macy Gray's pretty cool. Um, I thoroughly enjoy music. And you should check it out. She's got some experimental albums, too. Which kind of surprised me, because I'm thinking like a pop diva with an experimental Pink Floyd album, you know. It's not really Pink Floyd. It's more Radiohead-ish. Speaking of Radiohead, they just released Burn the Witch. It's decent. It really felt like it was trying to build up to something, and it should have been like a five minute long thing with some like metal at the end. Some heavy ass metal. But instead, they stopped it at the three and a half minute mark. And you know what? That's okay. Radiohead has put in their work, and they deserve to ride off into the sunset, regardless of what they release. Oh, and uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers are apparently releasing another single on Thursday. Every fucking one from the 90s is coming back. Now, if only we could have Pitch Shifter come back. God damn it, Pitch Shifter. We've been waiting four years for you to say anything about this album that was supposed to be released in 2012. Uh, made it through that corner like a boss. Two to, go. two to go. Two laps to go in the 2005 NASCAR Truck Series season. Adam Petty is looking at a 15th place finish in the standings, and that is just good as can be because he had potential right. for failing utterly halfway through the season there. Plus, that whole skipping one race didn't exactly help the points and, and stuff. Definitely would have been better had I just done that race. But, I don't remember what that race was going to be. I don't know, it might have been a road course even. We haven't gone to Watkins Glen yet. I think Watkins Glen is in this game. They got all sorts of tracks in NASCAR Heat 1. Why they couldn't put too many in this one is beyond me. I think we're uh, approaching some lap traffic actually right now. Uh, sail it in. Nice. Sixth place finish to close out the season. Not bad if I do say so myself, especially the fact that I haven't upgraded this car in months. That's okay. We're going to have to spend all the money on repairing it anyway, because I can't seem to keep a clean nose in anything. Yeah, we should have waited on that replay. I wanted to see what the hell happened at the start of that race. That was nuts. So Rick Crawford wins yet another race. And we're going to see how the standings shake out at the end of the year. And we're going to see what the sponsors have to say for themselves when they see that I exceeded their expectations. Yeah. $26,000 for this race. So that means we're going to close out the season with, I think, like $200,000. Next season is my season, says Adam Petty. The racing community was a little shocked by Adam Petty's bold words at the conclusion of the last race of the truck league season at Homestead, Miami. Yes, I know they finished the season back in 15th place 
Petty explained, but I really improved this season, you guys. That's right, next season is Adam's season. He finishes with a 15th place finish in the standings. He might have been able to freaking jump into 14th if he, I don't know, finished one place better throughout the season. If he did that one damn race, yeah. So, can't do anything about the sponsors yet, so, fuck it. Let's take a look at the end of the season, except we have to actually, ah, oh, we're just bordering on $2,200,000 there. Ugh, it's so excruciatingly close to $200,000. Well, that means that we will close out this year, and we will come back with over $350,000. I think that's enough for one engine upgrade, if I do say so myself, so. Let's fucking do this. Post-season racing time. This will end the season. Let us continue. So, Rick Crawford... Adam Petty wins uh, 15th place by skip with, with skipping a race. He skipped a race, and yet, look at him go. So his best finish is second. It's like the frickin' Dirt Series all over again, but this is his fucking year, and don't you, don't you forget it. Though we appreciated you being a part of the Sears Crafting team due to budget constraints, we've decided not to renew our contract. We will no longer spend to your car. Best of luck to you in the coming season. Does this does this actually happen? And like the in in does this always happen? Is this scripted? Or is this a I don't know, I'm scared. So trucks aren't as easy as you thought, huh? We have been having some trouble ourselves getting into the winter circle. With you as our driver, we can make think we can make it. Twice, and if we and if you do it, we'll pay you $175,000. Well, I can definitely get a win at Martinsville, but I don't know about anywhere else. So I'll hope for the best on that home front. It was great to walk you, watch you work your way up through the ranks. If you think you can place in the top 20 next year, we'd like to offer you a sponsorship of $90,000. Give us a call. Is that all? Yes, it is. Well, we got to either struggle and get two wins or finish 20th place or better fuck it we're going two wins I think Adam can do it because you know when we did the second season of dirt racing we freaking tore shit up so I think we can do this let's do this the objective of the century can kamikaze do it find out next time on NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. You can't, you can barely see the goddamn number on that truck. Wow. Alright, I'm done. Alright. Adam Petty with five wins, eight top fives, 11 top tens. It's tore shit up in the Featherline Modified Series like a boss. Are you the best? You look pretty strong last season, but we are all looking for the only the best. We can uh, guarantee an average finishing position of third or better. Forget about winning the championship. This is a real challenge. Yes, I remember this. I remember this contract offering. After watching your performance last season, if you could finish as one of the top three drivers, we'll pay you $42,500. Great finish. You just keep getting better in these feather lights. Blah, blah, blah. And then nice work. Yeah, this is, these, are, these are the junk, junk sponsors. Your truly mediocre season. Thank you. Okay. So, well, since I did so good last season, I think we're just going to stick with the sponsor we got. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for your offers, but I think we are in a good position. So, uh, Adam Petty, two races, two wins. I think that's good enough as far as things are concerned. Use your budget constraints. We can not renew our contract. We will no longer sponsor your car. Well, thank you. You had a wild season. Yeah, I don't wanna. I don't wanna race in the freaking whatchamacallits anymore. So screw off. Actually, we are not even gonna have a sponsor in that car. Cause fuck it. All right, the big reveal. 